Hi guys, it's Shala. Thanks so much for joining me. We are back with another blog hop for Scrap and Stamp. It is the September blog hop and it is for the birds. Um, my first card today is this, going to be using this amazing uh, die cut set from Brutus Monroe and it's called Birdhouse Scene Builder. There is so much that you can do with this die set. It is a great price point. Um, there's 82 pieces as you see here within it. There's lots of mixing and matching you can do. Um, so to save time, I actually did my die cutting off screen um, because I also used a couple other products. So I created a frame. Um, I'm going to be using an A2 size card and I'm going to orientate it uh, this uh, horizontal way, or this landscape way. And I've used um, two of these um, dies from My Favorite Things and this is the A2 rectangle stacks. And I've used that just to create um, a red border. And you'll see how that comes in. And I've also die cut um, some of these images from the Tim Holtz Thinlets. This is the set called Holiday Greens Mini. Um, so I've also done some die cutting with some of these as well. All right, so basically what we're going to do is just get started building up our cards since I've die cut everything off. Oh, there's also another stamp I used, which is the... Um, I don't have it next to me here, but it's the Tim Holtz, I think it's called Barnwood die stamp. And I use that to um, stamp some wood grain on my little birdhouse here. So you can see I've gone ahead and die cut out uh, some of the pieces. I've used black, I've used brown. Um, I used some walnut stain to stamp the wood grain on to this little birdhouse piece. I've got white cardstock. I've used um, red and black for my little bird and then a little piece of orange for his beak. And again, this is all uh, die cuts in the Brutus Monroe set. And uh, yeah, they were such tiny little pieces. I thought instead of fiddling around on camera with them, I would... Um, die cut everything off camera and then we just have to put the card together so all right so what I am thinking is I'm going to go ahead and die cut my or die cut glue down my frame right away onto the front of my card just so I have an idea of where I am working when I lay down my other pieces the glue I'm going to be using today is my favorite art glitter glue. This stuff dries uh, really quickly. It's really strong. Um, it has a lot of grab. So if you need time to fiddle around and kind of wiggle thing, things into place, you'll want to use something like a Gina K Connect glue. Um, I like this because it does grab fairly quickly and it is super strong. Sometimes to my detriment, <laughs> but hopefully it'll be okay for today. I really, really like the thin nozzle that it has, this little applicator tip. It is so super fine and I just love it for that. I find, like I love the Gina K or the Lawn Fawn glue, those glues are really good as well. But I just find that applicator tip is just not, not like thin enough, not fine enough for me. Okay, so I'm going to try and get this as centered as possible. We'll just press that down. So the idea I kind of had was, um, like I said, I've gone ahead and die cut out some of those little pieces from the, um, what was it again? This uh, set here from Tim Holtz. It is the Holiday Greens mini set. Um, not only did I die cut them, but I also inked them a little bit just to give them some dimension. And the inks that I used were Forest Moss, Peeled Paint, and barn door. And then my colors of cardstock, I have kind of like a, a um, I don't know what you'd call it, like a, maybe a sage green, and then this kind of like yellowier green for some of the other foliage. And then this one is kind of like a, an orangey red. And then I just inked it up with the barn door just to give it some more dimension to it. So I want to kind of have the foliage kind of go around and then I wanted the birdhouse kind of in the middle. So I'm just going to 
put this here for now. We're not going to glue it down. I'm just going to kind of set it there. And then I'm going to pull out all these little die cut pieces. And I want to start building almost like a wreath kind of around it. So I might have to move that up a bit. I'm not sure how many of these pieces I'm actually going to need. I just die cut quite a few out. That's kind of pretty. And then I will add in maybe these berries. Let's see how that looks. And then we'll add in some of these little kind of, they look like holly leaves to me. And I'm like moving everything around, nothing's staying where I want it to, but just to kind of give you an idea of what I was thinking. And we have some of these other little branch pieces we can lay in there. We tuck that in there and then had our little bird kind of on top. So that's kind of what I am thinking for our card. So let's go ahead and start getting some of this glued down. Again, I'm going to leave my little birdhouse unattached just so I can slide him in. So I hope everybody's doing well and had a good summer. We're all officially back to school now, which is very exciting. It's nice to have a routine again for the kids and for me. I need routine as well. So just gluing this down. Um, these reversible tweezers are a godsend. If you don't have a pair, grab yourself a pair. They're my like number one needed crafting tool. We uh, didn't get to do too much this summer. We had a little bit of camping. My husband and I went away to Vegas for a couple days. It was nice. The weather was really nice here this year, so I didn't really feel like I needed to to kind of leave and go anywhere because it was so nice. And then we had a really nice day with um, our old neighbors, they they moved to um, some lakefront property here in the city at one of the lake communities and so we got to go and see their new place and the kids got to kayak and tube just kind of around and do some, was that paddle boarding? So that was nice for them and it was nice that we got to have a visit with them because we haven't seen them in over a year. So yeah, that was kind of our summer and then now we're we're back to routine of school and back going into the office. I'm going in three days a week and then working two days a week from home, which is super nice to be able to do. I work for such a great company that they just understand the need of balancing work and home life, which is so great. All right, I love the way that's looking already. So I'm hoping, I'm doing this video kind of in two parts because I have placed another order from Scrap and Stamp. They had such a good deals going on that I couldn't resist placing some orders so I've got some things coming and not all of it is here yet and I want to use one of the things that I ordered for this blog hop as well I want to create two cards so this is kind of part one um, that I'm filming right now and hopefully I can very quickly once my order arrives film the second part and have this all go up as one video 
That is kind of my goal. So we'll see how that works out. All right, so as you can see, this is going really quickly in terms of putting this card together. Of course, the most time consuming part of it is the die cutting. But I found that I just popped in, um, popped on one of my favorite kind of YouTube channels and watched that while I was die cutting. And then, uh, or you can watch some Netflix, I do that as well. And then that kind of made the whole die cutting process go a lot quicker. Tell me what you guys like to do when you craft. Do you just craft in silence or do you have a movie or something going? Do you have your favorite YouTube channel going on? Let me know what you guys watch and who you're, who inspires you to, when you're crafting. All right, so I've now glued that down. That's looking super cute. I'm going to put all these little pieces back in here and save them for another card because I think I can get another card made. I'll just have to die cut out another little birdhouse. You know, this is actually would be a really good um, project for mass making Christmas cards. I know it seems early, it seems a little early to be thinking about that, but when you're a crafter, you have to start in July for your Christmas cards, especially if you're like me and you're gearing up for some craft sales, craft fairs going on. All right. So there is our sweet little For the Birds card. That went really simple. You can see how the layering just really adds so much dimension and interest to this card. I might, I think, um, this white on white is really kind of bugging me, so maybe I might take, give you one moment. Just going to grab one of my Copic markers here. This is a C1, and this is a little trick to do if you find that you need a little bit of dimension or shadow. So I think I'm going to have to put my glasses on for this. So. Now I'm just going to add just a little bit of a shadow with a C1 Copic marker and that will just help for that little white roof here to stand out a bit better. All right, there we go. I think that, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but that just helps it to stand out a little bit better from the, from the background. All right, and for the sentiment on my card, I'm not sure what I want on the front. Let me just see here. I have these little tiny words, Christmas stamps. Um, from, this is from Simon Says Stamp, so unfortunately this set is not going to be available on Scrap and Stamp, but um, this is kind of the only small sentiments that I have. So let me go ahead, stamp this up, and I will come back and show you what I have decided for the sentiment on the front of this card. Okay, I'm back. I've decided that I am going to do some heat embossing on some black cardstock and I'm going to be using some white ranger embossing powder and the sentiment I chose is glad tidings of great joy. Now what would bring me great joy is if I can get this sentiment <laughs> nice and straight on this piece of cardstock. Alright so we've got that down and I'm just using my Stamp Perfect platform and you want to remember when you're doing sentiments not to really press hard down. You want to just do light finger pressure. Otherwise it squishes out the um, sentiment or will blur your words. So I'm using my 
Versamark watermark stamp pad. But before I start, I want to go ahead and hit this black cardstock with an embossing buddy or this embossing powder bag. Now I shouldn't really be doing it on my sticky mat, but that's okay. I can always add more adhesive to that with my um, what is it? 3M sticky note spray up that I've got. So this just helps the embossing powder not to stick where you don't want it to. We'll go ahead and ink up our stamp. Finger pressure. We'll take a look. That looks pretty good. And we'll add our embossing powder. There's something magical about embossing powder to me. When you heat it up and watch it, I just think it's so much fun. So let's go ahead. Hopefully this isn't going to be too loud for you guys. I'm just going to move this out of the way. I've got my heat tool here and we'll heat this up. So that didn't take too long at all. And now what I want to do is trim this down. I'm just going to first put this away before I dump it because that's happened before. Move it out of the way. I'm going to grab the glasses to do this again. There are little um, little dies that I have for sentiments but they're just too far away right now and I'm gonna just press my luck here by doing this by hand. I think I'll just trim a little bit off here. I feel like that was crooked. Let's try that again. Go. We'll bring back our card and we'll just add that. Find my tweezers again and our art glitter glue. You can always pop this up with some foam tape if you want. I'm just, I've got enough uh, dimension going on here. I think I'll just adhere it straight down onto that. And then here is our fun little card. All right, so hopefully I will be back with my second card. Okay, so I am back here with the um, second card. My stamp set did arrive the next day, so I'm very happy about that. So I'm going to go ahead and create my second card for um, our blog hop for the birds. And I am using this uh, A Little Birdie Told Me stamp set from Photoplay. And these are really good quality stamps. I really like them. And I've gone ahead and um, cut, or sorry, stamped, colored, and fussy cut out um, some of the little branches in the bird and then I use the Brutus Monroe um, build a bird house again and I just recreated another little bird house and just put it together again using that um, barn wood stamp from Tim Holtz. I just did some uh, Copic coloring on this little brown piece here for the roof and again just a little black piece of cardstock for the hole so that was really simple got that all done off camera because that takes quite a bit of time and now what I want to do is go ahead and create the background piece 
where our little elements are going to be sitting on. And I'm going to be using this MFT mixable stencil. This is the Cloud Stencil. And this is such a great stencil to use to create beautiful backgrounds for skies. So let's bring out... I'm going to grab my little waffle flower mini media mat. I really like blending on this. And I'm just going to be using some speckled egg um, to ink blend on the background. So let's go ahead and I'm going to start on the stencil and work my way up. Now this piece is bigger than what I need. I just grabbed a piece of cardstock from my drawer. And I'm going to turn it. Um, let's do this one. Uh, it's kind of similar. Let's go one more. So just building up the layers of the clouds. I'm using a blending brush. Um, just, I find them a little easier to blend with than the foam brushes. Look at that, it just creates such a beautiful, beautiful sky background. Do a couple more layers here. And one more. And I'm just going to bring in, this is my um, MFT Rectangle Wonky Die set. And I'm just going to bring it in and make sure that looks okay. I think I want one more layer of clouds. Uh, let's turn it over. And do this. All right, there, yeah, that should be good. And I'm just gonna wipe off um, my stencil. I just use baby wipes to wipe that off. And I'll do that off camera. I'm gonna go ahead and run this through my die cutting machine and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished die cutting this cloud piece. I found a card base in my drawer that I thought would be fun. It's these kind of embossed polka dots or raised up polka dots. I think that would be kind of a fun background for this card. So let's go ahead and put everything together. I'm going to be using my art glitter glue again. This stuff is really, really sticky. Again, you don't have a lot of time to get it into place um, because once it's down, it's pretty much down, which is what I like about it. So if you want a little more wiggle room, go ahead and grab yourself some Gina K or some um, like the Hero Arts or Lawn Fawn glues are really good as well to give you more, more time to get it into place. All right, let us get that here down. Might have to give it just a little bit more just because it warped when I die cut it. Okay, now to set up our little scene. I think I want this to be kind of center. And then I kind of want this in front and then we'll put our little bird up here all right and then the sentiment that i've chosen is congrats on your new nest um, this actually works out perfect as my neighbors just moved in today they were unloading their big truck 
all day, so um, I thought I would make this fun card for them, and then I can run it over and welcome them to welcome them to the neighborhood. Yeah. So all right, let's get started gluing this all down. Going to give a big squish here. And this I'm kind of doing the upper two thirds of the card. And then I want to, this little branch here has a little extension piece and I kind of want to run that together. So I'm going to put this one down first. Like this. And then this one kind of join connecting there. All right, so the last thing I have to do, I guess the second to last, we still have to get our sentiment on there, but oh, just hold this down for a little bit longer. Those little raised bumps of the polka dots is just needing a little more time to stick. And let's glue our bird. Hmm. I'm kind of torn on where to put them. Do I want them about here or on the side? I think I actually kind of like him uh, right in front here, making him kind of the new focal point. So just hold him down. And then we'll get our sentiment on. Again, this is just white heat embossing with the Ranger embossing powder. There's something about a white sentiment on black cardstock. It's just so striking. All right, so then we've got this second card done. Congratulations on your new nest. And then I'll write something on the inside. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's cards and that it's inspired you to create something with little birds. Make sure you head over to the Scrap and Stamp Facebook Challenge page to share your creations. Thanks for joining me, and P.S. I love you. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're looking for specific materials that I've used in today's video, go ahead and check out the links down below. As well, I'd really love it if you sent me some snail mail. I'm always interested to know what you guys have been up to and what you've been creating, and I'd love to share your cards on my next video. Thanks so much again, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. P.S. I love you.